Hello and welcome to a let's play of Call of Juarez Gunslinger. The previous game I had no interest in. It was not... It, it, the, the themes did not entice me at all. Whereas this one, it goes back to its roots and it has a unique art style. So I thought, why not? I have played the first chapter. Well, I, I wouldn't call it the first chapter. Like the first bit of the first chapter, I guess. Or maybe it's the first, I don't know. I don't know how other levels are named and stuff like that. So I have played it a bit. And I got all the um, nuggets of truth in the first bit. And I will be playing on hard, because I think it's the normal version. Like, a lot of people put in, a lot of game developers put easy as normal mode. It's not normal. Anyway, this makes it a little bit more difficult. And if it's, and if it's meant to be difficult, then awesome. Because so far I found it quite unchallenging. They start off in 1910, close to the Red Dead Redemption's uh, game setting. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir. It would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. Uh, I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. She's clearly there for that reason only. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. Boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a He's bitch a has no fear. He was a gold Wouldn't star down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed it. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised ben. his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. I'm not sure if this is true or not. Like, I don't know if this is an actual... Like... Uh, for your information kind of thing. Once upon a time in Stinking Springs. Do you believe in ghosts? Question mark. I don't know, do I? In video games, maybe? In reality, no. It was about 30 not. years ago. Yeah. Billy was hiding so it's got a unique art style, like I said. Farm near Stinking, Springs. Stinking Springs. I wouldn't say it's good I in terms of graphics. Because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. I don't but know. before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead. Let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny feeling. Funny, ha ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. I like how he already knows their names because he's like that polite to know the names. This shows you the mission objective. Head to the hideout. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? Is he with us? Uh, so far, I've found Pat the iron sights. Oh yeah. And the accuracy. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move wait. fast. Wait. have to wait before you got zero Garrett, accuracy. Is it 100 percent accuracy? Surrounded the entire homestead. Or else you just don't hit those shots when you you, you feel like you're hit. It's not like Call of Duty. I decided to help Billy and the boys out. So that's just what I This is concentration mode. Bam. Bam. Miss. Miss. Wow. Just... Oh, okay, so my name is Obvious Pie, and I suck at shooting. Anyway, I dinged, apparently. So I got a level. Up. This makes it slow motion when you aim down sights. 
It's a little bit so it gives us that extra twenty percent reaction. Hit the guy right in the head. There we go. How did he hit me? Let's crack this. Hey, I take that. Oh, how the hell did you hit me? Let's quickly get to cover. Let's see what that guy is. As the so. governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' application, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. You think you can kill me too? I think got near missing that guy, or I knocked his hat off. I'm not sure if I knocked his hat off or not. I think I did. Yeah, you can shoot for cover in this game, apparently. Uh, so far, I've, I don't know what it is. I've played this first level a couple of times, and I'm not bored of it. It's like... Cause I've been, cause, uh, the first secret's here, by the way. Sorry to get about that. I've played this, this first level a couple of times now, and it just feels... Fun to be able to beat your high school. Yeah, I just, like, I just got three times there. It's... it's I don't know, if you've ever completed, um, not a bad idea, it would be a turkey shoot from up there. Ah, the Mile High Club on COD 4 in veteran mode, if you've ever completed it on that, it just feels, if you can do that, you know how much of a bad Luckily, actually are, shooters, Garrett, and that's what it feels like, right? When you can like chain kills together, it's just the numbers popping up. Personally, I prefer that's why I like um, the arcade mode in COD 4. But where was I? Oh yeah. So this is what happens when a you're behind cover and you can just see a person. And looking to make a few bucks. Oh, miss. Like I said, like it's it's not Call of Duty's aiming style. It, it aims quite much quite much slower. And there's a lot of sway as well, so watch out for that. Not so much sway actually, I mean more. Man, I love when the hats just pop off sometimes. Let's go. Oh, is it? Oh, Kabu. Come on, that's from Kabu. Oh, it's from um the zombies mode. Ben, in I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door. We got we'll cover you. They got me covered, so... Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I hit that guy. I cut their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. I do respect people who can actually pull off this voice. Side so for sure. Uh, and I, think, I find it hilarious. Just in general. It's kind of a... It's a voice you have to put on, really, isn't it? I mean, unless you've smoked and like that, 200 cigarettes a day. None the worse for wear. Can I go through here? No. I passed Dirty Dave. Here's Dirty Dave. He's... Than a rat in a trap. Calling him Dirty is kind of an understatement, really, isn't he? He's kind of filthy. He's a very filthy man. How about that? Also, hit the and second secrets in here, Billy or there. Bouldry. There's Billy the kid with his nipples around his neck. He looks really old though, he's got like grey hair, I swear it's grey hair. Billy looked at me and said, about time amigo, about grab time. a gun and get to the window. Why are you saying oh, amigo? So, so stereotypical. Billy the kid. Yeah, sort of. I like how he's apprehensive about anyway, it, because who we the fuck was the friends of guys of Billy and Kid? Shooters who wanted to do us harm. Oh, no, help. No, no, no. Anyway, we just leveled up, so that means we get to spend a skill, and we're gonna spend a skill, so let's spend a skill, let's spend a skill, spend a skill, spend, 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 spend. Truth seeking. Hints about nuggets of truth. Don't miss any important details, additional sounds and hints will lead you to the hidden nuggets of truth, provided you get close enough. This means more experience for you. Ah, uh, let's go deep pockets for the ammo. We want lots of ammo because we're going to be doing a lot of shooting like this. I'm telling you, 
Barrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. Oh yeah, they did. That's when Charlie got hit. Poor Charlie. Catching us in a crossfire. Love those effects. I love the art style, even if it is so kind of not the best. It's just I, I can trust Ubisoft. Man. If you miss a shot, your gauge goes down. Too. It rewards accuracy and speed, and that's just awesome. Like, I just love games that just don't fuck around. If you're bad, you're bad. Don't worry about it. You can still play the game. You just not the you just not get the high score. Wow, missing everything. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. I messed that up because I pressed the um, I didn't press back. That it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? What the hell do I have to do? Those poor sons of bitches are done! Many would have fled in <laughs> But I had that last bullet kill. Sense of I've always found like the last bullet. Young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? <laughs> Jack is just joshing me. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. <sighs> please call me Silas now. Silas. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. You can't just walk right through it, you have to climb the ladder. Because there's a quick time event. Kind of like a quick time event. It's not really. Gonna make you bleed. I pressed that quicker than it showed up. I guess. Right. Making my way past the castle of fallen foes. Hey, how does that? There's another one behind that uh, wooden shack. Sounds oh. like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Man, I love getting that gold star. Yeah, boom. Finally, the music, the art style, the it works really well together. Get killing the five, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. The third and final. Uh, secret is on this little thing. It's like a hat. It's like a white hat. You'll find um, you'll notice them because they have like horseshoes on them, and they glow. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. I think I'm going to stop talking for the cutscenes now because I have seen it a few times now. And it's a little bit boring. But yeah. I love that. <laughs> it's awesome. You kind of look like Clint Eastwood from the Good, the Bad Neighbor. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. The voice actor feels familiar. It feel it seems like Ray from um, the first two games. I'm not sure if that's true then. So anyway, th you have to basically hover over him until he starts to draw. And once he starts to draw, you have to uh, shoot to get the gun out of the holster, then shoot again to shoot him. Uh, I always mess it up the first time. And that you killed him. In a fair fight. I didn't mess it up that time. Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. That was the fastest I finally reached those well, damn way. staples. I want to kill chickens. You gotta kill chickens. I remember I gotta go kill two chickens because I killed two chickens last time. I went over to here to take that. I'm doing that. Step inside. 
and bam. bam. Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. He and sounds go like on. That. How did it end? And boy, that was just the beginning. Awesome. And we are gonna continue. So I guess that was the first mission. Chapter, whatever. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah, after I came to, bastard had clocked me with his colt. This is called the Colt Army Service. So it's the and the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. That's, a sh that's unfortunate, but I guess accomplice, and he did kill a bunch of them, lawmen, so I guess my character deserves it. <laughs> there's, no, there's no arguing with it. But we're not, we're not going to be the kind of... This can't be the end of the game already, can it? I mean, it's a fun it's game, so important to but... know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. Ah, so his, uh, his friendship with Billy wasn't... He was with John great. Kinney's gang. John Kinney. They were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. All right, and we got a new skill points. So let's let's take this thing, which means every fourth bullet that we get shot, that is shot from a barrel, um, doesn't do any damage to us. It's basically 25% increase in armor. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead. All I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Indeed. Revenge isn't the best Luckily, policy. it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. <laughs> the graphics shot are Jim good. Jim Bell and a few other guards Protection. as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. Mm -hmm. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. My first order of business was finding a firearm. That's always the first order of business in a, in a video game. It's got to be said. Oh, here's the first secret of this level. There's four of them in this one. Yeah, so we can't believe it. That's an actual picture. You can go on Wikipedia and you'll see that picture. Five, uh, five feet eight inches tall. He was um, in reality he wasn't. Huh? It actually says he was shot by Pat Garrett. We we punched us in the face of his car apparently. You can pause it uh, when you want to see it. So yeah, the twenty one before twenty one is a bit exaggerated. So yeah, yeah, the story's a bit exaggerated. Don't think this is real. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. That's the name of the gun, mean ass shotgun. That's the make. Back in those days, they were. Yeah, so that is actually quite powerful. 10 gauge is powerful than 12 gauge, I believe. I saw Billy through the window. And he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. No, we haven't actually heard him say anything. Anybody see Billy? Hell yeah. That scattered gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. It is. It's fucking it powerful. It blow a man shit. clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim at that. The kid's escape raised a huge ruckus. I like how I'm being accosted. <laughs> you know, like I'm the one who's getting accosted, even though he's right outside the fucking window in the middle of the open. Uh, I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could. What the hell? The planks just popping out of was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. Suddenly. I was a fugitive. 
Yeah, well, I guess that's true, isn't it? I mean, you are a fugitive. You escaped from jail. You've killed a bunch of lawmen. So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. This town didn't have a moment's peace. <laughs> and if I fuck up, he say, but it didn't end that well. Alright, how am I going to sneak past now? You! But hell, if they weren't all waiting for God me. fucking damn it, really? Apparently, some of them thought I was Billy. You hooligans can go to hell! I better hope I don't have to kill any women, that would not be, that'd be unfortunate. Not like killing uh, any... Video games. Except for maybe Fallout, that's fine. Hey, See, me and the kids share a certain similarity in build and color. Color. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. <laughs> as soon as I pull it out. That was quick to race Come out, you yellow bastard! <laughs> I hope hey how you have to reload both shells, but that's that's typical video game logic. They're shooting in the street! Damn right they're shooting in the street. That's how things get done. Cub Press a so much lead was whizzing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. Everyone wants to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Really? Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. What the fuck? He rode up in one. We prize them too high, if you ask me. Okay. He seemed respectful of his horse after he got wetted on by the car. Uh, I know I am, and I don't mean to. I'm trying to escape. This is the only, this is the game's way of telling me where to go. Oh, I always get a little bit sad for video game characters who don't want to die. It is. It is going to hell in my basket. But where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. Distraction. There he is. Ah, so here's the. So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. So the shield is, um, you can't penetrate through the thing, you can shoot through the... I knew if I made it out of there in yeah. one piece, no one would put a price on my head. <sighs> because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? Yep. <laughs> no. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. <laughs> anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards perdition. were dealt, and I had no choice but to play them. What? Oh, there you go. Hmm. These rifles are really powerful. You don't even have to hit the head to You just have to secure it like the neck or the chest. For a for a simple rifle with repetitive action, that's kind of. Cool. I suppose it makes sense, doesn't it? Where is that guy? Is he over there? I can't see this guy. Oh, there he is. Find that little crate there. 
got a good shot on him. Oh, Ooh, there's loads of guys on both sides. I'm gonna shoot the guy's leg. Yeah, he's dead. This rifle's powerful, man. It's got a lot of capacity as well, a bit unworldly. He's dead anyway. Let's get this ammo. Oh, he's got this. Actually. Oh, wait. They don't want to use it on my like, individual enemies. I already just got that. Stables on the edge of town. That's a ramshackle stable. Ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. <laughs> but we stood there in the he middle of the shot. street, eyeball to eyeball, gut to gut. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. I just draw hand position using A and D for a faster draw. Oh, I remembered this. This was annoying. So I have to focus and bother with this crap. When you hear the heartbeat, you can draw your gun first, but this will be noted as a disrunable act and score uh, and scored accordingly. I gotta say, the whole system, it, they've made it way too complicated than what it was. In the old game, all you had to do was withdraw and shoot when you heard the bell, and that was so much better. I gotta say, this new system is a bit, it's gonna take getting used to, that's for sure. Just gotta keep that down there. It's kinda hard to keep my eye on both of these things. Oh, I pressed I pressed the right button. I meant to press left, but wow. Ugh, it, that's why it should be the right button to withdraw your gun, because it it's, it was the old way of doing it. Oh, I had that I had 42% speed increased down. Oh, I had such a. Ah. Oh, real things like that. This is so difficult. I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Well, Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. Just a little bit, yeah. Pat Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. That's true that he, Pat Garrett did kill him. That was in the uh, thing that we read. I only got one out of four nuggets of truth from that. I guess there was a lot more exploration I didn't do. But anyway, that's the first two levels of this game, and. I think I'll end it there. Thank you for watching, etc.